Well, hello again. Happy Tuesday. I want to take a quick look across the country to see the different temperatures we see across the country. Up and near the Great Lakes, they're seeing below freezing temperatures in Detroit, 24 degrees. Over in Buffalo, New York, 27 degrees. Over in California, 75 and sunny in Los Angeles. Down in Miami, I'm not sure if y'all can see behind our book, 70 degrees right now in Miami. And here over in West Texas, 63 in Abilene, 65 in San Angelo. Now, I've talked about how beautiful it's been all day. Sunny skies, temperatures in the 60s. That's going to continue until your dinner time hour. We're going to see temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s around that time. Still clear skies, sunny skies between San Angelo and Abilene. Now, as it starts to get cooler in the overnight, if you do want to go out tonight, you definitely want to bring a jacket because as we get into our overnight hours, lows are going to be dipping into the upper 20s, lower 30s across some places. 29 here is going to be the low in San Angelo. 30 up in Abilene. 26 down in Junction. Snyder, one of the warmer spots, only getting to 34 degrees. But as you see, most of us are going to get below freezing or near freezing tonight. So once again, if you do have any plans on going out tonight, keep a jacket on hand because it's going to continue to get cool as we go through our overnight hours and the sun is setting now. This is just a snapshot of the next couple of days. We have a cold front that will be swinging through overnight tonight into tomorrow. So by the time you wake up tomorrow, that front would have already moved south of us and it's not going to bring really virtually any impacts. We'll be about three degrees cooler tomorrow than what we were today. We reached 68 today, only looking to reach 65 tomorrow. So no major impacts, no rain chances associated with it. We're still going to see those sunny skies and highs in the 60s. And we're going to continue to warm as we go throughout the rest of the work week. By Friday, though, we'll be picking, peaking in the lower to mid um, 70s before we see our next cold front come Friday night into Saturday that'll create that drastic drop of temperatures that we've been talking about. But as we look towards next week, we'll rebound fairly quickly back to our average highs. As you see by this graphic from the um, Climate Prediction Center, we're going to be right on par for average highs for this time of year by next week. Average high for this time of year is about 65 degrees here in San Angelo. So we'll rebound fairly quickly back to the mid to upper 60s by this time next week. But we could be looking at some rain chances coming in by next week too. This is saying about a 40% chance of above average precipitation by this time next week. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on because right now for the next seven days, we're looking at no rain chances or very minimum rain chances that aren't even worth mentioning. But you see for six out of the seven days on the screen, sunny skies that partly cloudy is just going to be thanks to that cold front that comes through on Saturday, creating that drop of temperatures. But as you see, we'll rebound back to the upper 60s by this time next week. Back to you, Tim.